Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way. And if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control and Enter keys at the same time to turn on narrator. Okay, enough intro, let's dig in. Jun is set to United Kingdom, is that correct? So this guide shows you how to set up a Windows 10 PC from new without having to set up or use a Microsoft account to log in with. So this is where we started from. So it says, let's start with region. Is this correct? So if your region is correct, then say yes or select the region. Your keyboard is set to United Kingdom. Would you like to stick with that? OK, again, so if it's the right keyboard, then say yes or click yes just in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Now, normally you'd uh, say skip on here. So but for if you if you type with another keyboard layout, I if you use another language Which language do you want to use for your second keyboard layout? So because I haven't selected anything, um, it's told me to select another keyboard layout. So I'm just going to click on the back button just up there. Let's click on that. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? And I'm going to click skip because I only type in English anyway. Now. Let's get you connected to a network. You can get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Would you like to use that one? This is the very important bit here. We need to select, I don't have internet. So let's just click that. Just so you know, connecting to a network now could save you some time later. If you want to get that out of the way, choose yes. So I'm going to say continue with limited setup. So just click continue with limited setup. Next up, the legal stuff. In short, you'll need to select accept to use Windows line, but then, you know, no Windows. So if it asks you to accept this agreement, then just go to accept just there. Type what you want to name your account. So here we uh, just type in our name. So... Uh, or the person's name who's going to be using the computer and then select next in the bottom right hand corner of the okay, screen. Now type a password for your account. Here it's totally optional whether you type in a password or not. If you don't want a password every time you log in then uh, you can just click next in the bottom right hand corner of the screen here or if you do type a password and then click next. I'm going to leave it blank the password so I don't have to type in a password. Let's set things up the way you like them. First, choose if you want to use your voice to talk with me and other apps on this device. So here I'm going to say uh, don't use online speak re recognition and then click now, accept. Choose if you want to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to help you with directions, weather and more. I'm going to say no to this again and click accept. And if you ever lose your device, here is where you get to choose if you want help finding it. Again, I'm going to click no on this because... I've spoken to the local police force and they have actually said that they can't get a court grant or a court warrant to search anybody's property on the strength of one of these Find My Devices. So I'll be honest with you, you need a Microsoft account if you turn this on anyway. So uh, I'm going to say no to that and then click accept. Next, choose whether or not you want to help Microsoft diagnose and fix issues. On here, I'm going to select the bottom one again, send required diagnostic data, that's all and then click accept. And if you want to help improve language recognition and suggestions for apps and services that run on Windows, you can choose to do that here. I'm going to click no on this and then click accept. If you want tips, offers and suggestions that are tailored to you, just select accept. Again, I'm going to click no on this and then click accept. Finally, for these settings, choose whether or not you want your ads to be more relevant to you. Again, I'm going to click no on this and click accept. Hey look, that's me, Cortana. Can I have permission to use the info I need to do my best work? I'm gonna say not now on this, so click not now just there, and there you go. Almost done now. We just need to get a few more things polished up for you, and Windows will be all yours. 
looking forward to helping out. So it's now doing the setup in the background. Again, this bit is going to take a bit of while, a bit of time. So uh, please be patient with it. Uh, let it do its own thing. And then once it's set up, I'm going to show you how we need to connect to the internet. Okay, so it's almost there. And then hopefully there you go. The uh, Windows desktop now loads. Now, what we need to do is we need to go down to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and we click on this little globe, which is just down here. And when we click on the globe, hopefully we should see a list of local Wi-Fi networks. So what you do is you need to choose your Wi-Fi network. These details can usually be found on the back or underneath of your Wi-Fi router. So I'm going to click on my one and then we move our mouse over connect and left click once and then we just type in the password. So I'm just going to type that in now. Now this password that you need again can be found along with a Wi-Fi network name on the back or the underneath of your Wi-Fi router. So once we've done that we move our mouse over next and left click once and then it says do you want to allow your PC to be discoverable by other PCs and devices on this network. So if this is at home then move your mouse over yes and left click once. And as you can see there it's now connected. Now the next thing we need to do is if you've bought this PC as a second hand refurb PC and with the instructions on the computer it told you that you needed to scratch off a panel on the sticker on the bottom of the PC and uh, activate Windows then uh, we need to do this. If the PC is a brand new PC then we can skip this section. So all we do is we just click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen, click on the settings cog just there Okay, and when this screen now appears, all we do is type activate, okay? And if you can see there, it says see if Windows is activated. So move your mouse over that, left click once, and on mine, it actually says Windows is activated with a digital license. But if yours isn't activated and you've got one of these stickers on the back or underneath of the PC, then uh, like I say, you need to scratch off the little silver panel and make a note of the whole of that product key that's in line with the silver panel. And then you need to go down to this change product key just here, left click once on that, and a little box will come up and you need to type in the product key and that is on the line where you scratched off that silver panel. Like I say, this only applies if you've got a refurbished PC or it's maybe a second hand PC with a product key on the underneath of it. You type that in carefully in there and then click next and follow the instructions on the screen to activate Windows. Once you've done that, Again, it should say up on there, Windows is activated like it does on mine. So what we need to do next is we just want to do a couple of little adjustments to Windows. So we click on Home, which is just up there. And then we click on System, just there. And then we click on Notifications and Actions. Then on the right hand side, you should see a few tick boxes here. Now I would suggest removing some of these ticks, most of them in actual fact. So remove the show notifications on the lock screen tick, remove show reminders and incoming VIP calls on the lock screen. Leave allow notifications to play sounds. Remove the tick that says show me the Windows welcome experience after updates and occasionally when I sign in to highlight what's new and suggested. So remove that there. Remove suggest ways I can finish setting up my device to get the most out of Windows and remove the tick next to get tips tricks and suggestions as you use Windows. Then we click on the home button just again, just up there in the top left hand corner. And these are a few like optional tips here. If we scroll down here, we're looking for that's it, personalization. So click on personalization. 
And I would normally say go into colors there just on the left and turn off transparency effects, okay? The next thing I would do is go down to start and turn off this show suggestions occasionally in start. So turn that off and then go to lock screen. And what I normally do is I change the window spotlight back to picture there. And then I scroll down and I turn off get fun facts, tips and more from Windows and Cortana on your lock screen. So turn that off. And also I remove all these icons here. So to do that, just click on this here and click none. And that should then be replaced with a plus. And then do these as where it says choose which app show quick status on the lock screen. So click on any with a picture in, click none. Click the next one. There you go. Click none and click that one and click none, just so that we've got all pluses in there. And then we scroll down a little bit further and we turn off show lock screen background picture on the sign in screen. Okay, the next thing we need to do is we need to close down this window here. On mine, a box has popped up saying, sorry, but Cortana is not available in English at this time. So let's just close that down. I didn't want Cortana anyway. So just I just clicked on the cross there. So click on the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and on your keyboard, just type the word control. OK, and then after a few seconds under best match, it should say control panel. So just move your mouse over control panel, left click once and then you should get this menu appear. And then where it's got category in the top right hand corner of the screen there, click on the word category and then click large icons scroll down to system just here and then right click on system that's the right mouse button and then you'll get this little menu appear and then click either on left or right open and then you should get this screen here and then click on advanced system settings and then in the performance section of this box click on settings and we want to take a few ticks out here so we want to remove ticks from animate controls and elements inside windows also remove the tick from animate windows when minimizing and maximizing remove the tick from animations in the taskbar remove the tick from enable peak remove the tick from fade or slide menus into view remove the tick on fade or slide tooltips into view and remove the tick from fade out menu items after clicking Go down a little bit further and we want to remove the tick from show windows contents whilst dragging. We want to remove the tick from slide open combo boxes and remove the tick from smooth scroll list boxes. And then we want to click on apply just down the bottom here and then we click OK. And that will make things run a little bit smoother. And then we can just click OK just on this box just here and then click on the cross in the top right hand corner there just to close that down there. So there you go, that showed you how to set up Windows on a new computer or a refurb computer and not have to sign in with a Microsoft account. I hope this guide helps and thanks very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel. Just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.